All right, today in this video, we're gonna talk about some accessories that you may want for your Levante. This is my 2019 Grand Lusso. And we've done some things to it. When I bought this car, it had been wrapped and debadged and then unwrapped. And when I got it, it didn't have any badges on it. So I ordered some badges and there's a couple that are missing here and I didn't want to wait for them for the video. I ordered some other ones, one that says Levante, another one that says Grand Lusso. But I went ahead and ordered Maserati along with the Tridents that go here. They came as a three pack and they weren't very expensive. They were about 30 bucks. You can get them in different colors. You can get them in chrome and black. And of course I wanted red. Mine being the Grand Lusso, Grand Lusso um, Xenia edition. It has the red interior. And I thought that was a nice touch. So when I add the one that says Levante here and the Grand Lusso, and there's other ones you can get as well, but uh, this car has some unique things on it. It has this carbon fiber wing that's been added to the top by the previous owner. Uh, normally, this rear section here would be body color, would be white. So they wrapped it in black vinyl and then added this carbon fiber spoiler to the back where it's been screwed in and has a little Italian flair right there. I think it looks good. I don't think it's too wild. They also added this carbon fiber lower, which um, if you had the hitch option would be a bit of a problem, uh, but it does allow the kick to still work. So uh, that should work. Let's see if it does, if it's detecting the key. You know how these things never work. It's supposed to kick. There it is. Come on. There it goes. You got to get it in just the right spot. Those things are so annoying. All right, let's take a look at uh, some of the accessories that I've got. So this one here I found. This is a Levante umbrella. Look how great this thing is. Let me open this up. Nice little pill shape. Once you take it uh, out, you'll see that there's a little Maserati trident here on that shield. Then yet another trident on the handle. How great is that? I've never actually opened it. And it does say Levante there. I'm reluctant to open it because you know you'll never get it to go back into that shape again. But let's do it. Oh, there's a button. Wow, there it is. Let's see, is there any more? Yes, look at that. You can see some subtle black trident there. Very nice. Nice little, oh, and it, and it is tagged here, Maserati. So that's very cool. I'm assuming you press the button again to close it. Yes. You know, the thing about these umbrellas is that uh, you can never get them to go back. You know, when I did my video on my Rolls Royce Phantom, uh, I did a video about the umbrella in it and, and people just went crazy over it. But yeah, you'll never in a million years get that thing <laughs> to go back into that, that clean fold the way it was. But oh well, close enough. Let's see if, if I can get it to go back into this sleeve. Hell no, we'll do that later. All right, here's another great accessory I got. Genuine accessory, Maserati. Now, check this out. This is for your windshield. This thing is really thick. It's silver on the outside, says Levante, with a nice uh, fabric Maserati on the inside. So I guess you could choose which end you want out. I suppose this silver goes on the outside, and that is to protect the interior on these when it's a hot day here in Las Vegas. Let's toss these out of the way. Looking into the back, I also have this Maserati. This is foam. This is a, a dense embossed foam, but it's extremely lightweight. Um, and this is an official accessory that fits in here. But uh, you know, I don't know how great this is going to be. It's really soft material, but I have that in here. I'm going to toss it in the back just to keep it from blowing away. And let's take a look inside underneath here where your spare and things is kept. You have this red little strap here and it's meant to attach right there so that you can keep it up out of the way and you've got a net here. Now, something I've picked up is 
the first aid kit. I don't know what exactly cars these come with. I found this one on eBay because I wanted it to be part of my kit. Let's take a look at it in detail. I'm gonna drop this back down just so we can have a look. Okay, I don't know if this actually comes with a kit. I guess it does, but you get a bungee cord in case you need it. It's a microfiber cloth, some work gloves, some duct tape, a glow stick, a hand squeeze powered flashlight. Interesting. Oh wow, an interesting multi-tool. It's got a pair of pliers in there, screwdriver, knife. That's interesting. Some zip ties. Of course, you always need those. An emergency poncho. Is that a real poncho or is that like a Sears poncho? Interesting. Let's see if I can get all this stuff to go back in here. How it went. Okay, on this side, some first aid. Let's see. Oh, there's a first aid contents and roadside service. Yes, tells you everything it has. Okay, we've got some uh, scissors, some gauze, some wrap. I don't know if we need to take all this out. Survival wrap. Oh, this is a heat blanket. That'll come in real handy here in Las Vegas. <laughs> Band-Aids. I think you get the idea. Very cool kit. So I don't know exactly if this is an option for a car. I don't know which car it comes with. I found this on eBay and I thought, you know what, I'd like to have a complete comprehensive Maserati kit like this and it seems to fit just right in there perfectly. Now let's go ahead and have a look at what else is under here. This whole thing comes out like that. I'm going to set it on the ground here. All right. Let's see if you can see what's happening in here. Let me check the camera. In this little foam carrier, this thing is uh, tied down with this nut here. Right back here is your tire inflator wrapped in plastic. Now I have the full size expandable spare here. I don't know if we need to take this out, but you know, you have the components of the jack here. This, uh, is for your taking off your wheels. Comes with uh, that little nut for your lug nuts. You have this Torx driver, which I think I would assume that pulls out. Let me see. Oh yeah, screwdriver also. So Torx and screwdriver. Now this is strange, this is a funnel. And this funnel is because in order to add liquid into your fuel tank, this will pop open the little flap in there. And I guess you could use it for any other place you need to put fluids in. And then this is your tow hook. This goes on both the front and the back. You can remove a little cover on the bumper, screw that in, and then you can attach a tow hook for towing. Remember, if you're ever going to tow the vehicle, jack the vehicle or load the vehicle, there's a mode in your screen that you first have to set before you jack the car or tow the car. We'll take a look at that. All right, just a point of reference here, you would first go to your Maserati settings. Look for settings. Press that. Then you wanna, gonna, you're going to want to go suspension. Now, once you're in the suspension mode, you'll see tire jack mode, transportation mode, wheel alignment mode. This is important because your car wants to self-level depending on which mode you're in. 
I'm in the normal mode, which is an easy exit mode, which means the vehicle's been lowered, okay? So if you wanted to go into tire jack mode, you press tire jack mode, and it'll say air suspension is temporarily disabled. This is very important. Same as if you put it into transport mode, vehicle cannot be lowered, closed doors. Now it's gonna lower itself, but it can't do that because the trunk is open. Wheel alignment mode, the suspension is disabled. So we're gonna turn all that off. You have to have your doors closed, including the trunk back there, in order for any of the suspension to function properly. But this is really important if you're gonna be changing your tire or doing anything that has to do with suspension. So if you're jacking it, towing it, anything like that, you're gonna to wanna to have electrical power and you're gonna to wanna to able to, you're gonna to wanna to set one of these modes which means you're gonna also need the key. So if you're ever having the car picked up, so hopefully you're never in a situation where somebody tows the car from parking it incorrectly or something, that could be bad for the suspension. It could cause a problem. So hopefully that doesn't happen to you. All right, I'm gonna put everything back now. Now your car may not have come with a spare tire or this toolkit. You might have nothing back there. I believe that this was an option. Luckily for me, my car came with uh, all of these things. Also, you'll notice, by the way, that right back there is a subwoofer. Now, if you have the regular premium uh, system, which is the Harman Kardon, I think there's one subwoofer. If you have the Bowers and Wilkins, I think it actually has two. Uh, but uh, that takes up a little of the space that's under there. Let me make sure I got this seated correctly. Okay. And then I had my emergency kit in that little spot right there. Fits perfectly. Now, let's see. Here we go. There's also these little straps here. Let's talk about these. On each side, you'll see these little straps. You can actually uh, pull them out of their little slots here and add, you know, more space to them. Now, depending on the options you got with your car, for instance, if you got the tow package, you would have your receiver hitch in a bag that would usually be mounted there. Some people will have their books and other things here. Sometimes there are other kits like jumper cables and other uh, tool kits. Like for instance, that little tool kit would fit here just fine. You have a little 12 volt socket that you can use to plug in that tire inflator. Okay, and also you'll notice some vents and some lights here. Uh, these help ventilate this area. You do have a little bit of storage here that you could put little things, just, just small things. Um, and of course, this thing automatically lowers, but you can disconnect it easily and take it out if you want. If you don't want this here, it's not very difficult to remove. It comes right on out and you can just put it, leave it at home or, or put it in the back. Now, I was a little bit disappointed that you don't have automatic seat drops back here like I did in my Lexus. I had a little you know, thing I could pull and they would drop or in like a lot of the more higher end Escalades and things, you could press a button and they'll fold down. You have to go over to each side, open the door and drop them. They go down and they click into place little bit of a pain in the butt, but it can be done. But this usually will stay here and live here most of the time. It just drops into place. These go back up here and attach. Ta-da! Now, this car has these little hooks back here for attaching a net, bungee cord, strapping things down. But your car may have come with the sliding rails that fit here. I don't know if those can be retrofitted in here. I would have liked to have had them. But if you had the sliding rails, these would be movable. And you could also get a barrier that would go here that would be movable that you could uh, keep things in. I really wish I had that in this. I used to have that in my Cadillac CTSV wagon. And I liked it a lot. You had these movable buckles that would move, and then I also had a rail uh, fence that you could move. Now they do make a netted pet barrier uh, that can clip in back there, and, and that's a whole other video. But you could put a net barrier 
that will protect any cargo that's in the back from going to the front. One small thing, it, it's kind of weird, it takes a little getting used to with this car, is almost every power lift gate you've had in every one of your cars, the button is up here, right? And every single time I go to close the thing, I'm like, well, and it takes a long time to get used to not doing that because they put the button down here, but it makes sense. My little wife is this tall. She's like 5'4". She would not be able to reach this button up here if it were up there. So they put the button conveniently here, which kind of makes sense. It's kind of where it should have always been. They have two buttons. One is just for closing. The other one is for closing and then locking. And then it also delays just a bit before it closes and gives you a warning beep so it doesn't come down on your head so that you, have to, you don't have to jump out of the way. You can press uh, the close and then you have a few seconds to get out of the way, grab your bags of groceries and move away. Now there's another way of doing it and that's with the kick that we did earlier. You can, you can do, and, and by the way, don't do this. It doesn't work like that. It has to be decisive, kick like that, right under it. And, and it, that's what it's looking for. That way, when somebody walks past it, it doesn't accidentally go off. You have to give a nice kick under there, hold your foot, bring it back, and that will set it off. It's kind of sensitive, or, or not sensitive, it's, it's actually kind of hard to work. So, oh, you know, I almost forgot to mention this right here. I don't know if you can see this well on the camera. This is a stainless steel bumper protector I picked up on eBay. And any of these things that have Amazon affiliate links, I'll put those down into the description if I can find them. But I found this, it was about 150 bucks, I think. It's a stainless steel molded rear bumper cover. Because this is normally just painted. This thing just has double-sided tape on it. I clean this real good with alcohol, stuck this thing on there. And this is to help protect when you're dragging things out, if it scrapes across here, this is stainless steel very well made. Usually they're ABS plastic. I was very happy to see that this was made out of metal. All right, we'll demonstrate closing the hatch and I'm gonna do it with not only the close, but the lock button. So you'll see that it gives you a warning before it comes down. It's gonna come down and then it's gonna lock the vehicle and fold the mirrors in. I don't know if, you'll be able to, I don't know if the mirrors are available, but you'll see there they are. Now, another accessory I recommend is having a key cover. Since I like red, I found this one. It's a little leather cover that fits over the key. These keys are very expensive. They're very heavy and they're made of metal. And if you were to drop it, oh, it would hurt the key. So that's why I keep this leather cover. Also, when you have other things in your pocket, I carry like a metal ridge wallet and keys. You don't want to get scratched up. You don't want buttons being pressed. And, and so I think it's very important that you have one of these covers. It's a very substantial key. Now this one came with a uh, carabiner, a uh, little fob so you could hang it you know, off of your purse or off of your, your pants or whatever you wanted. But uh, I just keep it in my pocket and that's something uh, that I like. Extra bonus, I thought I would show off another little thing I picked up. Look at these, aren't these cute? Look, little Trident Maserati valve stem covers. They were only a few bucks. Found those on, uh, I think, Amazon. And they're red, they're nice. I just put them around the car. Another cute little thing I found on Amazon, these red tissue holders. I just thought they were cool. Since I have the Zinnia Red Edition, I thought they were kind of nice. I like to have a tissue holder in the car. I put one there and I put one in the back. Comes in really handy. Here's another thing I always like to put in my cars, these seatbelt extenders. I like to put one on the passenger side also because if you put something in the seat, the airbag light goes crazy. I do this because I find it hard to kind of reach down there and I like this up here like this. This one's a little too big, I gotta be honest, but I like these extenders because then it puts it up above your hip and then it's just a different feel for me. And I like these. Uh, these are really cool to have. Also, another little bonus thing. I don't know if you know this, but the doors on the Levante are soft close. So if they don't close all the way, they'll suck themselves in and close themselves. So like if your door just does that, it'll close itself and then roll up the window. You don't, get, you don't have to slam the door on the cars. Please don't do that. Now features like the soft close used to be only reserved for cars like this. This is my Rolls-Royce Phantom. 
you open the door and you close it and it would soft close, right? Used to be only really high-end cars would do that, but the Maserati Levante does it as well. Okay, if your car had come with the towing group, you would come with this little hitch that would be in a bag. And then underneath your bumper cover, without the splitter, there would be a, a plastic cover that would come off of there. This would fit up in there. Now, I bought this because I thought that I had the towing group, but I don't. You can check on your build sheet, but if you don't have your build sheet, crawl up under there, you remove that plastic cover. And if there's not a receiver hitch up under there, or if the your car didn't come with this, you probably don't have it. Now, people ask, is it retrofittable? Yes and no, not easily. You'd have to remove the whole bumper and you'd have to do a lot of work and it'd cost probably a couple thousand bucks. It's something that has to be ordered when you buy the car. I bought this receiver hitch because I thought I could retrofit it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. But just a demonstration of what is available. Now, if you do have the towing group, you could tow up to 5,000 pounds with this car. Now the towing group is not available on the sport models, like the Trofeo and whatnot, for, you know, for whatever reasons they, they don't have, it doesn't make sense, they have twice the horsepower, but it's just not set up for that. All right guys, lots more Maserati Levante uh, content to come. They're gonna be doing a lot of videos about this car. Hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna know more about the Maserati Levante and you're thinking about getting one or you have one, make sure to subscribe. There's gonna be a lot more content coming. Thanks for watching everybody, I'm Video Bob. Thank mm -hmm. you.